about how that happened and how you take part in that? <clears throat> well, you know, having Hunter back, you know, makes things a lot easier. Um, he just calls so much attention. So with him in the game, you know, we got uh, the more lanes are open for us. Um, Caleb hit a lot of shots today. You know, he ain't been um, shooting the ball as well, but um, him shooting the ball with confidence make it a lot easier. Also playing with a guy like Eli, um, basically the, the professor, you know, do everything right on both ends, you know, great leader. And then you got the coaching staff, you know, always with us. Uh, you got the bench, the managers. It was a total team effort today. It wasn't just one man. So um, we all locked in together. Um, we could be a, a very dangerous team. And talk about Hunter passing. Uh, it's crazy. <clears throat> we had six assists. That's crazy uh, for a seven footer. Uh, I feel like he's the best uh, big passer in the country. So, like I said, playing with him, you know, it's amazing. Uh, and uh, we're glad to have him back. All right, we're also going to have Caleb here at this side table. So, if you guys want to put up, how are you? Oh yeah, that's a great team effort. You know, in practice, all we talk about is defense. That's our identity. Um, defense first, and that that can lead to easy offense that we need down the stretch. So, um, we got to correct the coaching staff. You know, coming in, um, coaching us hard every day, just getting us ready for the game, knowing that. At Illinois, we didn't come out the win, but we played very hard. And we, we liked the, um, the effort we gave as a team. So um, today, we just tried to build on that. Devontae, I'm sure you guys were <clears throat> hanging your heads entering this game. But how, how important was it to make shots and, and win? We know this one this one that we needed. Uh, definitely a game we needed. So just, just playing this game was uh, very important for us. Uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't let this one go. Knowing, um, we was already 1-3 in, in conference. So this was a big game for us. So, uh, we came in with a lot of confidence. Um, we just wanted to get a crowd to show. Uh, so, when you know Caleb's making shots and Hunter's converting down low, how does that open up the entire court for you to start operating the offense? Well, it's a lot easier. <clears throat> the defense can't help as much, so I got a lot more space, and so I got a lot more time to make decisions, um, see different reads. Um, so when I get downhill, I can either pass it you know, to whoever I want to pass to, or I got my floater or any type of finish at the rim. So when they're making shots, it's a lot easier for me. Like I've been saying since uh, the beginning, um, we find ourselves now and we make the shots with a very dangerous team. And also, I, we got to credit the defense. You know, we stopped them. We had like 19 points in the first half, so that's a big thing for us. The more we play defense, the easier the offense will be for us. If we play defense, we ain't got to you know, play iso ball on, um, on offense and do things like that. So um, the defense is really big you know, for our offense. Is that stressed by Coach Howard after, after the Friday's loss? Has that been sort of stressed yeah. lately? I mean, that's that been, that been our key the whole, the whole season, you know, just playing through defense. You know, that's the main thing. We know we, know we can score the ball. But um, once we're not playing defense, it'll make it harder for us to score because we're so stressed out. Uh, we're not getting stopped, so we're just going like back and forth with the other team. But we're playing defense, you know, everybody confidence up, and uh, everybody just play with a yeah. higher mode. Devontae, can you describe Caleb's demeanor over the last month? He was really struggling. And then how good did it feel as a team to see him knocking down shots tonight? It's crazy because um, he been he been the same. You know, usually when a freshman you know going through a slump, you see the head down, they stop coming to the gym. But a guy like that, you know, he in the gym consistently you know, every day, pulling up the shots. You know, practice he practices great. You know, a lot of confidence, and that's what we tell him. You know, everybody tell him keep showing. You know, yo, you're probably the best showing on the team. You know, we gonna always believe in you. We gonna keep giving you the rock. Uh, just keep showing confidence. It looks like you probably one of the best shooters in the country. So. We just uh, feed it to him, you know, he open, and he knock it down. What kind of difference do you think it makes for him psychologically to actually see the shots go down after a, a pretty tough month? I think it's great for him because um, I know he's, you know, in his head, he's, he's asking, like, what can I do different, you know? But we just tell him, keep shooting the same shot, you know, keep shooting with, uh, with confidence, keep getting lift on your shot, and um, just keep getting uh, reps up, and everything going to come through for you. You ever notice Caleb's confidence wane during that rough slope? I think he made two threes over five games. Uh, I wouldn't say his confidence was you no know, wing, but you know I feel like he was kind of thinking about the next shot when he was missing. I mean, but that's that's any player, you know. But um, like I said, he's a freshman, you know, learning. Um, I we don't expect him to really be you know so polished yet, but that's a great player right there. You know, um, I'm glad that he's my teammate because I hate to play against him, but you know, great great shooter. And he gonna he gonna just keep getting better with time. Is that type of maturity and level headedness <clears throat> uncommon for a freshman? Have you seen that in any other freshman? I haven't. Been I mean, I mean Musa. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, all our freshmen, all, all our freshmen got a you know a very mature. I mean, you got like the Kobe's and you know, the Frankies. You no, know, those guys probably not as polished as like Musa and Caleb, but. They have, they they great players too, but uh, Caleb on a different level, Moose on a different level. Those those two guys are, are pros.
And you, uh, you mentioned Hunter's passing ability. What, what was your vantage point on that pass he gave to Frankie for that? Uh, I don't know if it was complete. It wasn't a jam, but it was a pretty nice play for that. But I guess alley -oop. Oh yeah, I mean. Listen, when you play with a guy like Frankie, you, you're ready to throw the ball anywhere, honestly. So it's like, uh, he's, he's one of those guys that can jump out the gym. So just throwing the ball anywhere at the room, it's just, he'll go get it, no matter if it's a good pass or a bad one. Yeah, I, I might have been late on this Frankie conversation, but I was curious to know, how high of a ceiling do you think he has, athleticism-wise? Yeah, I mean, he can be as good as he want to be. It's all about him putting the work in. I feel like he don't have no limitations.